This is a presentation on calculating business value of information technology. Evaluating the value of IT investment is essential for several reasons. Firstly, the cost of implementing new information systems are expensive and require thorough analyses. If these analyses are not conducted correctly, it can lead to a series of problems. For example, miscalculation and implementation costs can lead to system failure and eventually cause significant medical errors. Cedar Sinai Medical Center, which is based in Los Angeles, scraped a $34 million system despite tears of approving the project as cost effective. So, to avoid such miscalculations, a new approach is suggested to calculate the business value of IT. This approach encompasses a holistic framework whereby all costs are taken into account when evaluating the value of IT. We will begin by using data from Vista for analyses. Vista is an enterprise-wide information system built health electronic records which is used throughout the United States Department of Veteran Affairs Medical System which is also known as the VA. Vista was in existence around the 1980s but its value and usage grew over the years. By 2003, VA became the single largest medical system in the United States providing care to over 4 million veterans. To provide some perspective, the VA employs 180,000 medical personnel and operates 163 hospitals. Illustrated here is the data acquired from the VA on August 2007. This table shows accumulation of data for seven fiscal years from 1998 to 2004. Also shown is the budget, the number of records used and the cost per patient index. To better understand the data, computation of scattered diagrams are done to find correlations between each respective variable. The higher the correlation, the higher the significance. For example, if the correlation is closer to 1, it is a significant relationship, hence indicating a higher return on investment. This graph shows the relationship between budget and the cost per patient index. On the x-axis is the cost per patient index, while on the y-axis is the budget of IT use. The R-squared R value is 0 0.79, which indicates a strong association between budget and cost of patient index. This graph shows the relationship between budget and the number of records. On the x-axis is the number of records, while on the y-axis is the budget of IT use. The R-squared value is 0 0.59, which indicates a moderate correlation between budget and number of records. A scenario of the situation could be explained as the following. As the number of records increased, the monetary budget value increased as well as seen in the graph. This graph shows the relationship between the number of records and the cost per patient index. On the x-axis is the cost per patient index, while on the y-axis is the number of records. The R-squared value is 0 0.32, which indicates little to no correlation between budget and number of records. Once correlation has been calculated, causation can be found. In this example, we will determine if investment leads to revenue or if revenue leads to use. This determination can be found by calculating the using the equations under each of the respective scenarios. PIR represents invest, IT investment, PIU represents IT use, while PRU represents IT revenue. The, al the already determined correlations, as seen previously, can be plugged into the equation to find causation. The closer the value to zero, the lower the significance of causality. Hence, from the calculations, the scenario where revenue leads to use is close to zero, indicating no causality. Thus, the lower the cost of index per patient, the higher the IT investment and use of the system. However, this approach does have its own limitations. To begin, the calculations conducted analyzed for the return on investment using objective data are only taken over a short interval of time. Also, the data collected could have potential errors if hospitals used wrong methodologies to collect the information. Conversely, this method of analysis has benefits as well. In calculating the return on investment, 
in comparison to the traditional way. In this method, all the costs are included when determining a potential IT investment. It also makes a relationship and correlations between different variables, allowing hospital administrators to make soundful decisions in future IT acquisitions.